while living in a carom, you do see that the, the range of motion will, be, will become a little bit smaller and smaller. But that is not really the problem. Just the challenge is that we find the right activity that fit their moment in the dementia journey. The most prominent behavioral change of people with dementia is that they become less active. And this active means something different during the different stages of the disease. So when people live in care homes and are in the most advanced stages, we talk about passive behavior or apathy. And if we talk about people in the earlier change or the first phases of the journey that still live at home, we talk about inactivity. And the reason for this inactivity is that we lose, or people with dementia lose the ability to take initiative in a very early stage of the dementia journey. And the reason for that is that the ability for initiative is position in your brain in the prefrontal cortex and that is one of the first brain areas that is affected by the disease. And what can we do to stimulate people with dementia and help them activate themselves throughout this entire journey of dementia that changes over time? So people that still live in their own homes can go for a walk or maybe can go cycling or go swimming and how can we support this group the people around them can play a pivotal role in the activities in their daily routine because we can help them take that initiative we can be the initiative so by inviting people for a walk or even just phoning them and suggest to take the bike or maybe go to the swimming pool we can really help them activate and just give that little nudge to do something but there's more important factors in the environment of people to be, to be active and feel the confidence to be active. So it's also very important that the environment is as safe as possible. And we can help with that. So there's many different products on the market now and there's coming more and more designed to help people living with dementia but still at home to be more active and be safe. So there's, for example, there's a beautiful watch that has a... Um, that, that has sort of an arrow that always points in the direction where you came from, or always brings you back home, which very much helps by finding the way and not getting lost. And while people dementia live at home, maybe at some point going outside for a walk is not that easy anymore, but also within your own living room, you can be quite active. There's quite a lot of programs these days on TV that help you doing sports or some movements and actually have a lot of fun with it. But also family members can come and visit and invite them to play along or dance together, sing a song together. Um, so there's a lot to be done. For people with dementia, moving to a care home actually gives a lot of opportunities to become maybe a little bit more active than they were at home. So there's more space within the care home than they can safely and warm and dry, walk around and experience um, what is around them. So there's more people that can invite them to play along or to go for a short stroll together. And what is very important that the interior and the footprint of a care home facilitates physical activity and provide that safe environment. So there's more and more research that shows that, um, um, that for example, the lighting is very important. Bright lights, sufficient lighting can activate people, but also give them um, the, enough light to, to be able to move around, to, to see where they're going, literally. Um, but also, there's a few studies that shows that an, a homely environment supports people to be more active, be more alert than a more sterile, hospital-like environment. And we also know that multisensory environments, so certain lights, sounds, smells, can activate and can constantly like give little nudges to react, to respond, to experience something. So there is quite a lot of knowledge and proof um, for all these different factors in the physical environment that can support people to be more active. While living in a care home, you do see that the, the range of motion will, be, will become a little bit smaller and smaller.
But that is not really the problem. Just the challenge is that we find the right activity that fits their moment in the dementia journey. So as we first go and walk over the ward or even doing a short walk in the, in the neighborhood, later on it, we can sit around the dining table and do a game together or throw a ball to each other. And even further along in the disease, people will lie more and more in bed or sit in their chair more often. So their range becomes smaller, but there's also games and activities that we can do then. Just by moving their hands and moving their arms or even nodding their head, it can be, can be fun. We can have a shared experience and we can have more than nothing. Um, so it is most important that we help, that we, that we always help them taking the initiative and guide them through the activity. Because even when people start the activity um, and, and their, their attention wanders away or they're distracted by something or actually forget maybe that what they were doing, they can sort of go in back into that apathy over and over again. So it's very important that there's someone almost next to them and, and guide them through the activity to maintain and, and fulfill the task or the game that you're playing. So I think there's a lot of demand on the carers and the family members that is challenging already now. And especially in this changing society and the urge to keep on a safe distance, this will be challenging, but there will be also so many opportunities and possibilities. I'm convinced of that. And I think we together, we have to work together to find the new ways of helping out. <music>